off the plastic, you're going to generate maybe 10, 15, 20,000 volts of static electricity, and then it becomes a vacuum cleaner, an electrostatic vacuum cleaner, and any dust in the neighborhood will land on your piece of plastic. So when you peel off the skin, rather than just pulling it away like this and generating all that static, you can return the, the voltage right back to the piece of plastic by holding it in contact with a sheet like this. So then you don't build up the static. But if you have it lifted away, then you will. The drier the air, the colder the temperature, the more static you're going to get. Um, because static is going to be dissipated uh, through the air. So the more humidity you have, the less static problem you have. So I can feel it building up because I wasn't doing it very carefully. I can feel it pulling the hair on my arm. Then when you peel the second side off, you want to go from the same corner and maybe turn it around so that you have a thick bow so it's easier to keep it in contact like so. Now I have almost no static buildup. It's not pulling on the hair at all. Then the sheet stays cleaner. But you're still going to get a few pieces on there and um, the only way to keep the plastic completely clean so you don't get impressions on it other than from the plug, uh, the pattern, is to use a little bit of a uh, brilliantized plastic cleaner because it has silicone emulsion in it and that actually dissipates the energy on the surface of the plastic. So that's about the only way you can keep it clean.